But first, a traffic nightmare. Cars bumper to bumper and going nowhere fast after the Delaware Memorial Bridge is shut down on one of the busiest travel days of the year. The potentially dangerous situation that forced the bridge to be closed. Good evening, I'm Jill Holden. It is a huge snag in holiday travel plans. Both spans of the Delaware Memorial Bridge just reopened after being shut down for hours. And the result is miles of traffic for distressed travelers. The closure is due to a gas leak at Crota Atlas Point, a chemical plant at the foot of the bridge on the Delaware side. We just learned that leak is now under control. An untold number of drivers were stranded as a result of all of this. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has the latest on the huge travel headache. The hard part of this right here now is to find the best way to get out of here. There is no direct detour. Traffic is at a crawl on I-295 in Newcastle. The Delaware Memorial Bridge is shut down in both directions and further down in Newcastle County. Traffic is backed up for miles after an alarm set off at Crota Inc. plant in Holloway Terrace from a gas leak. I, I'm just looking here at the plume and I surmise right now that the plume is the problem because that is flammable. That potentially explosive plume is from a colorless gas with a faintly sweet odor called ethylene oxide. According to OSHA, it's included in the production of industrial chemicals to be used as a fumigant in agricultural products and as a sterilant for medical and equipment supplies. Fire officials say the leak happened on the manufacturing side of the plant. Right now they're trying to mitigate the problem by uh, getting the gas shut off. Crews say the plant is safe and called the leak a rare occasion. More than 100 firefighters responded. No one was hurt, but residents were asked to shelter in place. Definitely, I hope that we're safe, yeah. you know, safe on the road. I mean, it is very surprising to hear, yeah. you know, and um, our cousin actually lives in Jersey. Yeah. So he has to travel back to Jersey. Yeah. Gary Smalls is driving back with his family from South Carolina to New York City. Big headed because you don't know where to go. Delaware emergency management crews are taking air samples on the bridge to check the explosive limit. As for neighbors, they're hoping to return to normalcy. Just to hear the gas and yeah. any fumes in the air, you know, that can that can harm neighborhoods, people, yeah. you know, anyone. Yeah. So just hopefully everyone's safe. And officials say there were no injuries. That was Shante Lands reporting. Again, the Delaware Memorial Bridge just reopened moments ago. Be sure to wake up with the Eyewitness News morning team tomorrow morning. Chandler will let you know if there are lingering problems on the bridge and any other trouble spots on the road starting at 430.